I'm Leo Water for Kit Guru, and this is the new Fractal Design Celsius S24 liquid cooling system. Uh, we at Kit Guru are fans or have been fans of the Kelvin liquid coolers, which is a copper radiator, and the system is built by uh, AlphaCool. This is Ace Tech hardware, so let's move the box. Aluminium radiator, copper block, uh, pump on block all the usual study. Uh, Ace Tech pretty much dominates the liquid cooling market and the fundamental layout is now a well-known quantity. Uh, there are some uh, subtle design detail differences in the uh, fractal setup. Uh, this is a fifth gen Ace Tech hardware. So uh, 240 mil radiator, there's also an S36, which is a 360, therefore this is two fans, two fractal fans, both PWM, exactly as you'd expect, clearly the 36, 360 mil. Uh, comes with three fans. You get a bunch of mounting hardware. Uh, so there you have your usual Intel backplate. There you have a hold down plate for AMD. You use the standard AMD backplate with some of the mounts that are supplied. So you swap out this for this. And then you have some bags of fasteners. Nothing out of the ordinary apart from these, which are for Ryzen, a type of uh, standoff I've not seen before. Uh, and uh, it's part of the reason I'm using the system with a Ryzen setup, uh, because out of the box, where's the little sticker? There. Ryzen. It's clearly been added at the last moment, and indeed the uh, user guide has an extra page ref Ryzen to tell you that it's not actually in the book of words. Follow these instructions and it will make sense. So uh, this uh, cooler, uh, is appropriate to any AMD system currently in the market. Uh, goes back to uh, AM2 and FM1. And in terms of Intel, all the LJ11 5X and also 1366. If you want Core 2 Geo, you'll have to look elsewhere. LJ775, terribly sorry, uh, no luck for you. I think we can live with that as not really being a problem. Uh, it's a smart cooler. Uh, being aluminium rather than copper, it's lighter than the Kelvin, but that's frankly a, a detail. The question obviously is how easy is it to install? Stored and how well does it work? Uh, and in terms of installation, here on the uh, radiator, we actually have a little fan hub. Uh, you can see there the cabling runs down and then pops out there. Uh, so you hook up the two fans to that hub there, which we saw with the EKWB Predator, something very similar. And then you simply plug that header to your motherboard. As uh, Fractal puts it, uh, rather than getting in the market of uh, writing their own software, they're relying on motherboard manufacturers who do a perfectly decent PWM control to a handle fan control for them. Makes perfect sense. Question is, how well does it work? And this is my chosen test setup. So I've got a Be Quiet Silent Bay 600 case, which is an ATX, but quite compact in size, which shows you how well or otherwise your cooler's gonna go in. This case does actually uh, support both 240 and 280 liquid coolers in the roof. This 240, as you can see, quite close for comfort. 280, good luck with that. Uh, motherboard is Zeus X370 Prime. Processor is Ryzen 7 1700X. Memory is G-Skill Flare X, which is uh, for Ryzen. Power supply down the bottom is Seasonic Prime Titanium, and the graphics card is a reference GTX 1080. Uh, the system goes together absolutely uh, easily. Putting the uh, hardware together for the cooler is quite straightforward. So you put the fans on the radiator, put the uh, radiator up in the roof, obviously screws from the outside going through into the radiator, easy peasy, job done. Uh, I continue to be vexed, frankly, by the way that manufacturers use uh, its UNC 632nd uh, for mounting uh, cooling hardware. I don't understand why it's not metric, I just don't get it. Uh, so it went together absolutely fine. One minor annoyance is that a key feature of this setup of the Celsius is that you have the little fan headers on the radiator. That works absolutely flawlessly. So the fans go on the radiator, the cables go in to the radiator body, essentially, uh, which means I've got a trail across the case and go into the, uh, the, the pump body on, on the CPU. Uh, so that's good, that tidies up the cables, that, that really saves some mess. The thing is, the fans quite clearly are not specific to this cooler. The cables are far longer than they need to be, so you have to wrap them around the fan and tuck them out of sight. I, I don't understand. Uh, correct fans with the correct length of cable would make life just that little bit better. Obviously, it functions perfectly well. They could just save us a bit of cabling, remove the mess, uh, as EKWB does with Predator. Indeed, they could install the fans on the radiator before they ship the system out. Such is life. 
One feature I missed when I was unboxing the hardware is that the uh, pump body doubles up as a switch. You can just click it very slightly. It's got two markings, PWM and Auto, and you click the body to one setting or t'other. So standard means that you're relying on the built-in uh, fan curve and pump curve in the system. Uh, PWM means you're using the control software that's built into the BIOS of your motherboard. Uh, if your motherboard has decent PWM control, use the PWM control. If you're not so sure, set with standard. I have to say in my testing, it made precisely, well, almost no difference. The CPU idled at 44 degrees uh, in standard mode, uh, uh, sorry, in auto mode, and it idled at 45 degrees in PWM mode. In both instances, 54 degrees under load. So good temperatures, and it meant that the ASUS does a decent job of PWM control, but I knew that already. If you have a motherboard that's not so great, uh, or you're not sure, then if you settle for auto, you're gonna be okay. It's quiet. Quiet is one of the features of this setup. They, they refer to this noise deadening material within the pump. Uh, occasionally with all-in-ones, particularly older all-in-ones, you get that ticker 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 from the pump. You don't get that with this. Uh, although in fairness, I can't think I've ever actually heard that with a new pump. That tends to be older pumps that have, that have worked for a bit, because they, they run quite fast. Uh, so this new setup works absolutely fine. I would expect nothing less. However, uh, they are essentially promising that it will continue to be quiet. We shall see exactly how that works over time. The fact it's uh, Ace Tech fifth generation technology, which is used as far as I'm aware by NZXT and EVGA and I'm sure other companies as well, that in and of itself is, um, well, it's, it's the latest Ace Tech technology, so I wouldn't expect anything less, but it's not immediately obvious what you get with fifth gen, you didn't get with fourth gen. It works and it works well. The curious thing for me, the interesting, the interesting thing for me is that Fractal Design, instead of just taking an Ace Tech system and delivering it, uh, they've gone down their own route. So for example, NZXT will offer you RGB lighting and will offer you its CAM software for both control and monitoring. Uh, fractal, no lights, as you can see, it's just a black shiny uh, pump housing. And you don't get any software because as, as they put it, frankly, they're not experts in software and you can do more harm than good with poor software. So they've just relied on the built-in Ace Tech uh, firmware, works perfectly well, why not? Or you can use the uh, motherboard manufacturer's PWM control, that works well as well. So that, that makes perfect sense. But, so they've instead gone for this cut down, tidy approach. The, their feature, apart from quiet, is tidy, which is very, very good to see. It's not the most exciting thing to offer on the other hand, and it does mean you hold them to a slightly higher standard because you're saying, all right, you've got no bling to entertain me. So the hose is a 400 mil long, for example, which is a good thing if you've got a big case. In this quite small case, that's actually a tad too long. So harsh to complain about it, but there's a lot of hose. Similarly, those uh, fan cables, they could be a tad shorter. I'll be happy with that. Um, there's no reason for me as long as they are. That little detail is uh, one of those things. One other feature I noticed in the reviewer's guide uh, is that the connections where the hoses go into the pump and into the radiator, according to the reviewer's guide, are standard G quarter. Uh, and they say quite explicitly, you can therefore uh, remove uh, the connection from the radiator and you can extend the loop to add a GPU block. Uh, I haven't tried this, I don't intend to try this, although I may, I may get young Dominic to try this at some point, it's the sort of thing he enjoys. Uh, my, my concern with that is, unless you're adding a reservoir as well, is that you've got not a lot of coolant going around the system, you've got very little leeway in case you lose any coolant, and over time you generally do. The hoses uh, are going to be slightly permeable. Uh, and you're relying on the pump, which obviously this pump works perfectly well for a CPU. It's designed for that, it does the job. Uh, that's a given. They're also saying you can add a, C a GPU block. How well will the pump do that? There's only one way of finding out, that's to try the thing. Uh, so that's for another day. Uh, until I've seen that in action, I have my doubts. On the other hand, Fractal is absolutely crystal clear the system is designed to do that. So fair enough. Uh, until we try it, we can't call them out on that. That'd be completely ridiculous. 
but nonetheless, I have to say I have my reservations about going down that route. If you're feeling brave, on the other hand, that's one heck of a cheap way to uh, start a semi-custom cooling loop in your PC. Uh, and on the subject of uh, cheap, the 240 is £105 in the UK, it's $110 in the US, and the 360 is £115, $120 in the US. So as these things go, that's perfectly acceptable. You don't get any bling, but you do get some decent cooling hardware. Uh, overall, I'm perfectly happy to see Fractal moving across to Ace Tech, although I like their Alpha Cool um, Kelvin setup. Uh, I'm quite sure that at least part of the reason is to get around this Ace Tech Cooler Master litigation thing that's been going on. Uh, this means that Fractal can sell this cooler all around the world. They haven't got any problems with the law courts jumping up and down talking about patents. So they're probably making life easy for themselves. Having said that, so you don't get a copper radiator, you get aluminium, but it works perfectly well. And uh, overall, a success. Uh, it's understated, but it is certainly cool. It's very, very quiet and it works extremely well on this Ryzen build. So I'm happy. Uh, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Uh, if you want more information from KitGuru, head to the website, look at the photos. Meanwhile, do please click to subscribe. I'm Leo Walder for KitGuru. This is the Fractal Design Celsius 24.